you ever wondered why all the Appalachian people were devoted to Christ I think it was just the sheer nature God gave them to live in that made them modest and humble I had deep in this crevice here you can see just the erosion of conglomerate rock that shows you how old the Appalachians are and we're gonna see if, what, what kind of view we can get from the top of these up on top these are some steep rocks like I showed you earlier 70 feet tall and it's a long way down to say the least this is just part of it. And here I am way up on top of these rocks I showed you earlier. Right in between an opening. And you can see Appalachian Mountains go really far out there. If you look at these rocks, it looks like they're stacked here purposely. Taken from the ocean, put together by quartz laying on the bottom and stacked. I'm going to take you with me here. We're climbing to the top of these. And you just look at the beautiful rocks. It could have been the first ones. But they're all piled here together. And we're climbing up these steep ravines. And that's some nice rocks there. Don't go a whole lot of places and find stuff shaped like that. Not in conglomerate rock. Almost looks like an eagle perched right there. Looking down. The wing alongside. I'm sure God had a little hand in making it the way it is. Pretty neat. Definitely looks like an old eagle sitting up here looking down. And that rock, I don't know how that thing's still there. Nice view. It's an awesome place to be. And one of them spots that's just hidden up here, not marked. And just wanted to tell you a little bit of my thoughts, how it was created. The thing is, nobody knows. Nobody knows what God does altogether. And that's the point of what I'm trying to say. I'm going to read here from. Genesis 
chapter 1, verse 9. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and gathered it together of the waters, and called the seas. And God saw that it was good. He gathered the dry land together, and here is a rock, conglomerate rock, way up top of the mountains, and it's all gathered together, and it looks like it's stacked here. So, how much more do you need? I mean, nature should make you humble when you're in here to understand how much God really does, and that's my thought. And I, I wanted to read from Ezekiel, just from the view that everybody has some negative views. I'd like to sh show you my view on how you know things we don't understand in the Bible, like uh, leaders and warriors, things that were done, God's will to lead people into taking over other countries and killing other people. Uh, a lot of it seems unclear and sometimes a lot of this seems unclear because nobody can really explain how it was created unless you believe in God and just the sheer humbleness to to think God is holy enough to to do stuff that we don't understand is what's part of being a Christian life and sh you should be humble and meek you don't have to know it all just like Ezekiel didn't know it all when he had a vision from God, he had a vision of a great cloud and a fire unfolding itself and the brightness was about it. In the midst thereof was an amber and out of it a fire. And thereof the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of man. Everyone had four faces and everyone had four wings. And it just goes on to describe a bunch of things of the, how they flow around and it just goes to show he can't quite explain this whole vision this is in chapter 1 of Ezekiel and he said unto me this is where God appeared at the end of chapter 1 And above the ferment there was over the heads like a throne, and as it appeared of sapphire stone, and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness the appearance of a man above it upon it. And I saw the color of amber and appearance of a round fire within it. And it just goes to show when he saw this. As the appearance of the bow that was in the cloud in the day of rain, and it was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard the voice of the one who spake. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon the feet, and I will speak to thee. He fell to his face, just from the sheer appearance of God. And right here we have the creation, which is part of God. And we should be humble enough to understand God that we don't know it all. And that's what holiness is, is just knowing God's holiness around us and not being able to explain it. So I hope you understand a little bit here what I'm trying to get across to you. But just think of God when you're in these places and think of uh, being humble just like the Appalachian people. Now this goes for miles. You can walk through here for a good part of the day to get to the end of these on this ridge. Once was together, it just split right in half. 